What is up everyone? I hope everyone's doing amazing on this windy Saturday, but today I'm doing another car review. Living with the, right here, the 2016 Corvette C7 Z06. It's the one with 650 horsepower, the 650 foot pounds of torque. It actually has the Z07 package, so it has the carbon ceramic grates, better tires in the wing and the better aero. Uh, if you can hear me, sorry, it's a little windy, but I did a review last time on my F-Type R, my 2016 F-Type R, and it did really well on YouTube uh, compared to my subscriber amount. I got over 200,000 views, so obviously you guys like it or YouTube likes it, so I'm doing another one on this car. Another one! Another one! I said another one. So I'm doing another one. This time it's going to be like the same thing. It's going to be some sound clips, some drive-by, some exterior shots of the car. The things I like about it, the things I don't like about it, the things that people say they do or don't like about it, and me comparing it to other cars I've driven in the past. So, without further ado, let's get into it. the car now check it out and get an uh, exhaust startup clip the front let's see the front this is all pretty good in here. This is the target top up here, so we could take it off through these levers and this lever right here. Here's the interior, guys. It's pretty cool. It's it's a uh, it's not super luxurious, but it's not as bad. The last generation of the Corvettes, the C6, was 100 times worse. This is 100 times better. It has a lot more features. It has the seats are comfy. Uh, the seats are stylish. This front. The steering wheel is actually pretty stylish. It feels good in your hands when you're driving on the track slash in the canyons. The door is a special button. So when you press it, it opens. It's not an actual handle, so that's pretty cool. This tack right here with really cool features is actually pretty, pretty cool. Um, as you can see right there, 650 horsepower, 650 foot-pounds of torques. If you forgot... Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get it a nice startup. Startup button right here, keyless, obviously. And that is the tack, that's the digital tack. It's super cool, it's super awesome, uh, it's super fun, it's super everything. And you could change that a bunch. As you can see right there, there is the heads up display which is really, really awesome too. It shows you your tack, your speedometer, it also has shift lights if you are in the right mode, which is awesome. things about the Corvette Z06 is obviously the fact that 650 horsepower, this exhaust noise, rear wheel drive. And then we have a truck right in front of us. That's that's another thing. Wow, okay. Alright. things I like about the car. Uh, I think the fact that 
it's so different than any other car that I've really driven because I haven't really driven a American supercar or American muscle car um, compared to the Jaguar and the Audi R8 and the Lamborghini Huracan and the Porsche GT3 it's so much it's so much more intense in my opinion it's very visceral it's very like very American like it's like a it's like a 4x4 four four American cheeseburger with fries and a coke it's just like a lot you know we're like the Audi R8 and the Lamborghini Huracan is like, it's like ahi pokey. It's like more uh, sophisticated. Sophi it's just like cleaner, and it's just and not, it's not bad. There's it's all preference. At the end of the day, this this thing performs like with cars that are three to four hundred thousand dollars for a fourth of the price. Obviously, it's under under a hundred thousand dollars, but it's. I'm not gonna say the quality is worse than the Audi, the Lamborghini, and the Porsche, but like you could tell certain areas, like there's more plastic than the Porsche, there's more plastic than the Lamborghini and Audi. The build quality, I'd say it's very good, but I could tell German engineering from the R8 and the Porsche is, I'm gonna say it's better. And there's gonna be people watching this video that are Z06 owners or um, Corvette owners or Viper owners or whatever, American muscle car owners are gonna be like, no, American muscle. But this is my opinion, this is what I think. And this is just my overall overview of what it's like living with the Z06 uh, Corvette. So this is the 2016 uh, Z06 Corvette with the Z07 package. I'd say it's the hands down the most bang for your buck, best car you can get for under $100,000 and I can safely say that. What do you think makes a better statement when you pull up somewhere, the Z06 or your F-Type? So I have an F-Type R, if you guys don't know, I shot a video previously, a few months uh, back. But, in terms of statement and people seeing like your car and they're, they're like, oh what's that, or they're impressed, or they want to know what it is, or they want to take a photo of it. I'd say definitely the F-Type draws more eyes and more attention because of the design. The design's from Ian Callum, which, who's designed uh, a handful of Aston Martins. So, he is, the person designing that is, in my opinion, the design is more elegant, it's more luxurious, but it's also more exotic and and just different. Like when people see it, they're like, what is that car? When people see this, they're like, oh, they know it's Corvette, it's an American muscle car slash supercar slash sports car. So in terms of the whole thing with the car and like having like pull-up value, I guess, the F-Type is a little bit higher, just of like, because it's more rare and I live in Southern California, guys. A lot of people have Corvettes, and a lot of people have Z06 Corvettes. So, that being said, not a lot of people have F-Type R Jaguars in Southern California. You see a few of them, but definitely not as much as Corvettes. Okay, another question. Uh, what would be the appeal to the Z06 over another car besides value? would be the appeal. Appeal for the car besides about The appeal is honestly because it's bang for your buck. You're getting 650 horsepower, 650 foot pounds of torque. At It starts at $80,000, $82,000. Uh, you're getting a car that competes with the Lamborghini Aventador in terms of power and performance. The Ford 8, the, these are the cars that cost three to $400,000. Not to mention you're getting carbon ceramic brakes, you're getting aero, you're getting you're getting so much technology, you get an awesome Apple CarPlay, the sound system's amazing, the heads-up display is amazing, the tack, the digital tack where you can have different features is amazing. The only thing that's not amazing, I would say, is the automatic gearbox. So if you're going with the automatic, don't go with it. I would just say go with the manual. But if you are going with the automatic, it's not, I'm not gonna say it's so, 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 so bad. Um, it's a ZF8 speed, but the, the way they programmed it, is different than because I have the F Type R. The F Type R programming with the ZF8 speed is a little bit faster, snappier, quicker. I'm not sure if it has to do with Jaguar tuning versus Chevy tuning of the transmission, or if it's the the fact that this is a bigger supercharger and a bigger motor, so it can't rev as fast as the Jaguar. Uh, smaller engine and smaller supercharger, so that may be the case, but. The shifts don't happen that fast. When you're redlining it and you're shifting it in performance mode, it's okay, but when you're city driving and trying to shift around 3,000 RPMs and downshift like two gears, it is 
honestly, it's pretty slow for being a supercar or a high performance sports car. So, besides that, the bang for your buck value um, and getting this car is superior to like superior to any other car that I would compare it to. Honestly, one of my favorite things about the Corvette Z06, the new ones, the C7s, is, uh, well, it handles, but the sound is great. Like, I have the F-Type R, so obviously I got the car because it sounds amazing, but the sound of this car is, it's very American muscle, but it's also very just... freeway we talked about this earlier yeah uh, speaking of exhaust how bad do you think the z06 drones on high at highway speeds and is it livable it's pretty bad as stock so the drone from the z06 stock exhaust it's not horrible horrible but it's bad so like when you're driving around 60 to 70 and it's in sixth seventh or eighth gear and you give it some gas and it goes huh The fact is, it's it's a stock exhaust and it's still that drony and it's loud. Honestly, if you don't want to do anything to it, you don't have to touch this car at all. But if 
I did have this car, I would probably put exhaust on it. I would probably lower the car a little bit. I probably would get it. I don't know if I would get it tuned. The thing is, it's so much power already. I, I'm sure if I drove it for months and months, then I would be like, oh, I'm used to the power now. I want more power. But speaking of driving from from driving this for the past three days or so, I wouldn't tune it. I wouldn't need any more power. Would I want the car louder? Sure, right now. Why not? Because that's, I mean, the louder the better in most cases. You don't want too much, but you can still tell the this car is a little bit tamed and and uh, held back, at least in the exhaust department of the loudness, because it's from the factory, they can't make it too, too, too loud. Okay, next question. Uh, most automotive enthusiasts prefer to get a manual option in cars. Yeah. This is equipped with uh, with Chevy's eight-speed. Yeah. For the people who don't want to get the manual, would you recommend this transmission, or what are your thoughts on it? So, this versus the a lot of automotive enthusiasts have and want a manual transmission because they're more connected. They can rotate the gears. There's a clutch pedal, and I I get it. My first two cars were manual. I do miss manual. Uh, do I miss manual driving in traffic? No, I don't. Do I miss manual driving in the canyons? Yes, I do. So if you're commuting and you're daily daily driving the Z06 and you are in traffic, for sure the automatic is fine. It shifts fast enough and well enough in performance mode, uh, but it's also smooth enough in traffic to where you don't have to worry about a clutch pedal. If you are looking for the manual and you're thinking about the manual slightly, I'd say 100% go for the manual. Don't even think about it. It does auto blips for you. It shifts great. It's, it's an amazing transmission from what I've heard. I've never driven one, but the manual is a choice of transmission to get for the Z06, for the C7, Z06, for the new one. Um, the 8-speed is okay, and I'm just going to leave it at that, at that. Okay, it's not horrible. It's not great. It's okay. Corvette. I drove it straight for three days. 
I pretty much lived with it for three days. I used the trunk, I used the passenger seat, I used the driver's seat, I drove it fast, I drove it slow, I drove it medium, I drove it in the cans, I drove it in traffic, I drove it stoplight to stoplight, I, I drove it everywhere. I used the trunk, I used every single different mode, eco mode, to track mode, to sport mode, to touring mode. I used all the features, I used the radio. Overall, the car is amazing. I really, 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 really like the car. Would I prefer this car over an Audi R8 or a Lamborghini Huracan or a Porsche GT3? Probably not, but that's my opinion. But then again, you can't even get those cars for this price. So that's not really in the question if you're looking to purchase a car under a certain amount. That car sticker was, I think, closer to 100 because of the Z07 package and all the carbon fiber. But they start around 80, I believe so, 80, 82. For that price, this car is, in my opinion, the most bang for buck car you can get in that category, the sports car, supercar department. You're not gonna get another car that handles that good that can do zero to 60 in three seconds or under if you have good tires and they're warm and something with 650 foot pounds of torque it's, and 650 horsepower. It's, it's crazy. It really, really, really is mind boggling. And I have friends that own Z06s, um, specifically one friend, Damien, if you're watching this, I never understood the Corvette, and I, s I mean, I still don't understand yours, because Damien has one that's close to 900 horsepower. This one was stock, and it was insane. I get why Corvette owners love their cars so much now, and I have a really strong and really, I have great respect for Corvettes, especially the Z06 and the Z07 package. Obviously, it's because it's the one I drove. Would I ever get one in the future? Probably not. Would I want to drive one again? Definitely yes. Would I want to drive one on the track? Yes, that would be amazing. Overall, the car is amazing. Trunk space is decent, it works. You can, is it daily drivable? Yes, is it comfortable? Mag the magnetic ride they have that Chevy has is actually really, really, um, it changes like you from, from touring mode to track mode, it's such a big difference that like you can live with it and you can take it to the Kings or the track. So it's something you could definitely daily. Is it loud? Yes, it's loud, but it's not obnoxiously loud. It's not like aftermarket exhaust loud. Um, the sound system works great. Apple CarPlay works great. You could use uh, Apple Maps or Google Maps right under the screen. It works perfect. The heads up display is great. There's heated and ventilated seats. There's just so much. So much tech and so much bang for your buck in this car. Um, I've never been a huge fan of how it looks, but after looking at the Z06 for the time period of the past three days and parking it and walking away and looking at it, taking photos, shooting the car, I do like how the car looks. Do I love it? I don't know if I love it, but I like how it looks. I like how it drives. I like the car. I would want to drive it again. I want to experience it again. Overall, it's one. Of, it's the best car in that price range for the package, hands down. Is it the best car ever? It's not the best car ever in my opinion, but that's my opinion. Until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this review or you know, just me and my opinion of the Z06, the C7 Z06 um, of this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up anyways. Comment below what cars you want me to review in the future. I did the F-Type of my car. I did Living with the F-Type. I did five things I love, I like most about my F-Type. But comment below on what cars you want to see me shoot in the future and I'll be sure to do my best to get them into a video. Until next time, I'll see you guys on the next YouTube video. See you later.